Hello, and welcome to Sad, Crying, Farting Space Clown, the story of Anthony Jeselnik. Uh, <clears throat> I am here with Dane Forgione. Excuse me? I'm here with, <clears throat> I'm here with Ashley Miller, and also choking on my taco. <clears throat> Mm, damn, Sorry. I should call him. I was eating. Uh, I was eating a taco. You're choking on a taco. Well, tell her to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, sorry. Hey, uh, could you like? <laughs> would you please? Thank you. All right, uh, let's get back into. Is there somebody actually with you right now? No. Yeah. Let's get into. Uh, get back into cultic. Hey, we're back to cultic. It only took two months. <laughs> Dane, he did not fuck and play video games at the same time. He's not that cordial. You don't fucking know. You don't fucking know. I, no, that's don't, very presumptuous of that, Yeah, don't make presumptions. Presumptions. Don't, don't, don't assume. You know what happens when you assume. You make an ass out of the you and the me. Yeah, you make an ass out of Ume. If, if this is you want to make, do you want to make Ume an ass? Yeah. Yeah, why would you do that? God damn it! Get up the fucking that stairs! You true, cunt. That way, you did something in the past. Um, I mean, we don't talk about the. You know what else we don't talk about? Bruno. Bruno. Precisely. All right, listen. No. So, the fuck is my hair? Mike asked for a glowy during one session of Mario Party Seven. All of a sudden. Yeah. All of a sudden. He's the bad guy. Right. Mm. He's a razor. Razor? Ramon. Why do I not have a crossbow? There was a reason why I said that in a joking manner. And it was because years ago, a friend of mine used to host kind of like a, an anime therapy session where we could, you know, get shit off their chest. And... Let a god, this happened. A, a, a couple were in this audience, and one of the girls literally narked on her boyfriend and said, One time they got bored during sex, so they pulled out their Pokemon, they pulled out their Game Boys, and they fucked, and they only would come to see who could evolve their Pokemon the after. That takes skill. And either you're not doing it right, or else you're just that fucking boring. Oh, I guess so. Oh, oh, my Charizard evolved. <laughs> oh, 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 I just right cued on myself. Oh no! <laughs> Hello, Jason. Oh no! Uh, oh. Jace, you came in at the worst time, brother. But welcome to Colton. There, I sorry to tell you, but there is no good time. <laughs> Not in this fucking call. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, um, I love it when it goes bullet time after I blow one of their heads off. Stop! What the fuck is going on? What? Oh my god, it's one of them. What is this shit? That's that a right. good question. I need to, like, go... I need to, like, run or hide or do something because I'm fucking dying. I forgot. There's demon matrices in this game. I am dead. Bullet time. Shooting you with shit. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, I know it. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a bit since we've had. We literally played. Cultic was the very first show we did on uh, uh, the reboot. We literally filmed it January 1st. It is now the day after Valentine's Day, and we're finally coming back to it. We had a lot of ground that we needed to make up. Hey. Hey, 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 Jace. Hey, Jace. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Good, good talk, good talk. I think I uh, can probably just stay on this side of the wall and you can't get me, you stupid ass. I think, I don't know if Jace is responding because he's not saying anything. I think he's in the chat. He's, but in, he's, he's in the call. He's just, I don't know if his mic is having issues or what. Oh, the two. So the last... Something of importance. Uh, I had I got the uh, P the laser eye surgery. Yes. So 
So now I don't have to wear glasses. You don't anymore. have to wear glasses. You can see everything is become clear to you now. No glasses. Oh, okay, oh my now it should be working. Hey, there we go. There's a Jason. A wild Jason has appeared. Oh, freaking hell. Ugh. Hey, hey Jason. The the Portuguese Russian Portuguese 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 There's lots of Portuguese on the lawn and they're doing the poopies. Oh man. You should get rid of them somehow. I don't know how. I would not I should I I use I use shotgun to 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 blow them Shoot gun. That's, yes, like uh, what that's a very effective method. The gun. I will Shoot gun it. them. Shoot gun. Oh god. I. I sell. Hello there. I sell a lot of uh, necklaces and rings. I am Julie Lewis and the Jewels. <laughs> <laughs> well. No. Uh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> For that joke. That, that that's that's courtesy of a friend of mine whose whose uncle is actually named Jewy Lewis and pretends he's Jewish <laughs> and sells jewelry. His name is Jewy Lewis. Hi. I will. I did a little cheating because me and Jace made this joke earlier today. We were talking about it because I was talking to my friend and like because it all had to do with the fact that uh, that Brazilian politician pretended he was Jewish. In New York. Oh, oh, you, oh that's golf cart. <laughs> Santos. Santos. Uh, uh, Pasquale is nowhere to be seen around Santos, apparently. Um, uh, well, so, if, if, if he's listen. a legit politician, Let me, I don't... Listen, George Santos, with a straight face, said he was a producer and gave money to the Spider-Man Broadway production. Oh, which was, that is course, absolutely hilarious, too. That he's like, I, with I, a straight face, it. he did I, that. You know, like, if you're going to lie about that, which, you know, George Santos is the expert at that, at least pick a show that succeeds. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, right? <laughs> I funded uh, AIDS the Musical. Um, I funded... I, I was about to say. I was about to say. Actually, rent, I, that, like, I was to say that's just uh, rent. <laughs> rent. Rent came out before uh, George Santos. No, this born. isn't even uh, rent. No, this is even. This is low budget. I mean, rent. like, say, like fucking Phantom or The Lion King or Hades Town. This is. This, you want... this musicals about people in uh, that live in a homeless shelter? They get that, but they get AIDS. Is... Hey. I Hell, call it the musical that couldn't slow down. <laughs> Everyone hey, has he, AIDS. Do, 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 do. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. <laughs> Even Angels in America had a Broadway production. That was going on while we were there, and it had Andrew Garfield. What? But that Father. is one of the most, you know, uh, my other theater friends would probably be more in tune with this conversation. But if Carousel is the most depressing musical angels in america is the most depressing play because it's just like everybody everybody's having a hard time and everybody's all sad and dying. everybody die and basically yeah you know it's bad with carousel when the only the only happy thing about it is june is busting out all over and then blah, 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 blah. God, even if he said that he put money into Avenue Q, that's at least somewhat believable. The only Broadway song that is known throughout history for the lyrics, I'm not wearing underwear today. Not that you probably care much about my underwear. Still, nonetheless, I gotta say. Yeah. If you were gay... Didn't you post, Jason, didn't you post a couple, like, videos of you on YouTube to sing in some of that? Uh, Avenue like, Q? forever and a half it, ago. Yeah, I think it's I got been ages. Now. I think those are approximately 11 billion years old, those videos, but... My <laughs> favorite, though, is... Nick, I am trying to beat it. He has the, and Jace has the cell phone. I 
forgot what book it was. I think it might have been Borderlands. It was it was one of the various like books that I've got sitting around in the uh, shelves behind. I actually, me. I thought it was one of your Zelda companions, but it might have been Borderlands. I don't know. It was it was a hardcover strategy guide. I remember that much. See, that was the moment where I went, well, if my friend Jace could do silly voices, then God damn it, so could. I only wish that I could get paid more to do voices. <laughs> right? You do fucks. My name is Tingletron. Oh. You know, I don't Such know when this is going <laughs> to air. I don't know when this is going to air. This Saturday, the 18th, is one of my scene showcases is coming up, and Jason and I are doing a scene together. Well, February 18th. This will probably air, I'm assuming, let's see, right now, uh, the, the episode that just aired today was us playing Wheel of, uh, Wheel of Enormous Proportions. So, uh, I think we got, like, I try to air a new episode every three days. So this will probably be sometime early March, this will air. Well, I February mean, 18th. It'll be up on YouTube by that time, so uh, check that out. Event, uh, well, Laboratory Theater Company. I, future Mike, if you could put up the poster, I, I, I sure. will send like the poster. But um, if you look, you know what's funny is every really, time somebody's like, "Oh, could future Mike do this?" and I, I bitch about it, but usually it's really easy for me to do. So, I, I mean, if you zoom in on the poster where. Around where Jason's name is, you'll zoom notice. In. Oh. Zoom in again. Zoom in once more. It's a single pixel. I'm trying to make a point. I'm trying to make a point here. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. There's there are several gentlemen who are in the scene, and I'm doing air quotes because it's literally just me doing like four different okay, voices. Okay, hold on. What 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 word are you doing the air quotes around? And this is important. <laughs> Mental gen. Gentlemen, yeah. Gentlemen. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Gentlemen or scene? <laughs> Gentlemen. Okay. Continue. So, so, you look at these names and you, people are like, oh, where did you get, where did you find all these guys? Well, uh, they're not really, they're not, they're not, they're just. They, they fell off the back of a truck. They fell, yeah. Yep. Like, Precisely. literally one, literally one of them is just the name fake Shem. But in Gaelic, so yeah, you know, it's one of if you know, you know. And if you don't Gaelic. know, well, now you know. And knowing is half knowing is half the battle. GI Joe. GI Jose, a real Mexican hero. Ah, oh, shit! I'm reloading. <sighs> Damn it! I was trying to headshot him, and I was reloading. Boop! Headshot. Boop. In where did you learn how to shoot? Mm. All right, I've made it to the point where I can clear out the coal skip. Yay! Hot piss! Hot piss! Oh. I love it. I, yeah, I love it when it does that bullet time shit for when I blow somebody's head off. That's real smooth. <laughs> Have you have you ever seen this game before, Jason? Uh, I think I might have in the past sometime, but yeah, there's a whole retro FPS revival going on like a year or two ago, and there's a whole bunch uh, of games yeah. in that that I really want to play. Uh, another one that I really really want to play is uh, Nightmare Reaper. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, are you supposed to go down? Oh, I guess you were. Yeah, that was the level exit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Nightmare Reaper, which is a <coughs> procedurally generated first-person shooter, so it's like Binding of Isaac, only first-person shooter. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there's, uh, I think I might have mentioned it, uh, there's a Doom Wad that basically turns it into a first-person Wario-like. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that, actually. Yeah, actually, I like, I'm... Probably when I get paid, I'm gonna pick this up. I want to get Pizza Tower, just because it is straight up just. Hey, remember Wario Land? Yeah, right. This is Wario Land on like freaking steroids. Speed. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> like, there's a lot of like 
there's a lot of like custom like Doom wads that I would love to play, and uh, uh, we might actually on this show because you know I'm a big fan of Doom. Anybody who knows me knows that I love love just, me some Doom. Just don't attempt to uh, play H Doom for a video. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> you know how many fucking black boxes I would have to have for that. <laughs> <laughs> Chainsaw Dildo. Chainsaw <laughs> Dildo. You know, some the only time you can say that phrase. Did any of you guys watch the superb owl? This the superb uh, owl. No, no, I did I just not. Saw, like, a little bit of I was it. at work, unfortunately. I know who won. Well, I, mean, I saw the. I was. It was I, a I good day to the score. It was a good game. Actually, I'm, I was glad it wasn't a blowout with that, which is what I was afraid was going to happen. But the one thing that I couldn't help but notice is there were two distinct, there were two distinct film trailers that that dropped. Mm. Um, for starters, there was the newest Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, is Shia LaBeouf yeah. in that? No. Okay. No. But like Shirley it's, Shirley Shirley it's got like fucking eighty year old Harrison Ford jumping out of a plane that poor and dude. it's just like I'm Harrison Ford. You I'm Harrison Ford. Get off of my plane. Oh wait, I'm jumping out of the plane. <laughs> What's a stunt double? It's, it's a freaking uh that is a gumby moment, like you know <laughs> I think they should be attacked standing in the water. Oh, I'm standing in the water. <laughs> get off of my plane. Ah, I'm on a plane. <laughs> Harrison Ford is John Paul Sartre. Get off of my plane of existence. Uh, <laughs> <that's> it. <laughs> that was a surprisingly intellectual joke for me. Uh. <laughs> Say, that was like... Mike Big Brain over here. <laughs> <laughs> so who are you and what have you done to Mike Riley? Uh, I, I <laughs> killed him and I'm wearing a skin. <laughs> the second the second trailer was uh, The Flash. Oh, starring, yeah. Starring Ernest Ah, but, 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 However, but, 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 hold on. But, 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 yeah, there's two Batman. Yeah. And one of them, the only is one I care Michael about, Keaton. I was gonna say, the only one I care about is Michael Keaton. <laughs> Who is the other one? Oh, uh, uh, Batfleck. Oh, Ben Affleck. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Just I mean, because, I mean, Ke- they've, yeah, they found a way to reboot the DC universe for the eleven billionth time in movies, the same way they've done it for the eleven billionth time in. Uh, Comics. That's, so, uh, that's well, fair. Uh, we 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 don't know how to get people to read comics anymore because people don't know where to start reading. So uh, yeah, you know, let's just reboot the universe again. Yeah. Okay. So like the newest Ant Man that's coming out very soon. Yep. Now apparently this one is like dark, gritty Ant Man, and like. It's like, wasn't the whole point of the Ant-Man movies that they were kind of, like, goofy and funny? They, and, they were fun heist movies, basically. You and know. even the um, the Shazam movie. Cap- whatever. That's going, apparently, dark and gritty. And, like, the whole point of that, that first one was, it's goofy fun! <laughs> See, I think that they're supposed to be serious, but not, like, goofy haha. Like, you know, oh, let's actually raise the stakes a little bit. Although I've been hearing the complaint about Ant-Man and the Lost Quantumania is basically, yeah, we're just trying to set up Ant-Man's daughter for a story now. Like, okay, we get it. We're trying to create a new generation of heroes because these people can't be replaying the roles forever. We, We understand that. I mean, Stop trying always... to cram it down our throat. Right. <laughs> you, you idiots. I was just getting ready to say, yeah, they're, they're really cramming it down our throats at this point. 
I mean, you know, I'm just happy. Like, I'm just happy that Michael Keaton's getting a chance to be uh, Bruce again, mm-hmm. even if it's old you know, Bruce. I mean, we're we're looking at it going. Which old man Bruce are we getting? Are we getting? Hey, like, look, everybody! Getting... It's my impression of the Young Bucks. <laughs> 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 Somewhere, Jim Cornette's like, "That's a pretty funny joke." Thank you, fuck you, bye. thank you, fuck you, bye bye. <laughs> thank you, fuck you, bye. <laughs> I hate the goddamn young bucks, those motherfuckers. <laughs> all fuck they the do, bucks. throw kick and throw kick, throw kick. That's all they fucking do. Fuck the young those, bucks, those pieces of shit. Fuck the young fucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> fuck the young fucks. <laughs> fuck the young fucks. <laughs> They're the unfuckables, if you ask me. Uh, I I gotta I gotta say though, like speaking of uh, young bucks, um, I'm looking forward to the fact that Kenny Omega is uh, somehow involved in the newest Yakuza game. That's interesting. They uh, stuck him in there as a special attack. <laughs> he he gives a one winged angel to somebody out in the road. <laughs> I forget what the hell the attack is called, but yeah, it's like a crazy freaking, like, you use the card, and it's got his face on it, and it's a crazy-ass sword attack. And he is not the only, like, apparently this is just something that uh, Sega did with this upcoming Yakuza game, is there are these different commander cards that summon special abilities, and, like, we, we... I'm I'm on another Discord for Digital Era Entertainment, and we talk about all sorts of random crap from anime to video games to wrestling to uh, virtual YouTubers. And it's like, suddenly the singularity of the Discord's interests is just slowly coming to be in the form of this Yakuza game, because it's the only game out there now that features Kenny Omega and... VTuber Natasha Nyaners as well. What? Did you have a stroke? Yeah. Natasha Nyaners. She's a uh, demonic cat girl being who is on crack. Like. Sounds like (laughs) with a name like Natasha Nyaners, I would imagine. Yeah. Gabby's on crack. Billy is very well acquainted with Nyaners' uh, (laughs) insanity. The cleanup oh, wow. effort following the failure just... of the recent imbument trials has been a massive undertaking. Still, the effects of the imbument on deceased subjects has been fascinating from a scientific imbument. standpoint. Similar to living subjects, the amount of imbument can indirectly impact the magnitude of mutation. However, without a living, self-regulating body, the resulting creature creature is uncontrollable, driven purely by instinct or maybe fear. Ooh. So the cult be mutating shit down here. Well, I just realized that uh, Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going into overdrive because literally Ant-Man and the Wasp opens up in two days. Yep. Yep, and, and then, then in a few months, it's uh, Guardians, Guardians of the 3. Galaxy. Was and the, then uh, something the, called... holiday special, the holiday special was like the end of Phase 4, too, wasn't it? So that wasn't that yeah. long ago. I guess you could say like Black Panther, Wakanda Forever was the end of Phase Four. I mean, I think they consider the technically, end of phase, te- yeah, yeah. But I think they consider the actual end of Phase Four being the holiday special since it fits in with stuff that's been happening in that phase in Phase Four. And then yeah. in uh, in July, something called the Marvels is coming. Yep, Marvel, that is yeah. uh, that is the sequel to Ms. Marvel, and will tie into the end of. Uh, or no, it's the sequel to Captain Marvel and ties into the end of Ms. Marvel. I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, now, whether or not uh, we'll we'll see some other characters, like there's a rumor that uh, what, what the hell? Like there's there's a few other characters. There's a bunch of other shit. Like I don't know. At this point, they're kind of pulling obscure shit out of their ass while also trying to like appeal to a mainstream audience. But the more that you run through your main characters that people are familiar with, and like you know, oh, we, 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 we no longer have an Iron Man because you know, no more Robert Downey Jr. We don't want to bring Iron Man back right away. Um, Iron Heart. So like, all right. Uh, oh, we could we could bring back Rhodey for something. Yeah, let's let's do Armor Wars. So like. Uh, Okay, like, 
I, I honestly, I'm wondering. I think the burnout has already set in, but the question is, will it really fall apart? Because, like, Ant-Man and the Wasp is getting trashed on Rotten Tomatoes already. How? It's not even out. Well, see, the he, reviews. Here's, here's the thing that's making it a little disingenuous. So apparently all the MAGA people are doing some kind of weird campaign to sabotage the movie because in the movie they said socialism isn't that bad, so we're going to sabotage it because we're just fucking assholes. So yeah, I These are the same people crying over the fact that their favorite uh, turf chicken is going woke and offering a vegan option. For those of you who don't know what he's talking about, uh, Chick-fil-A is offering a vegan sandwich now, and the conservatives are losing their fucking minds about it. <laughs> that sandwich is going to turn me gay. I can't have that. Listen, you're really not that far off. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, if you sandwich, question, uh, listen, is if, it people... If, if the sandwich is enough to turn you gay, let's face facts, you were gay. You were gay before you ate that sandwich. <laughs> why are you Why are you ready? Why are you ready for me sandwich? It's not going to hurt you. It's a sandwich. It's delicious. No, no one's on the doll where the sandwich touched. Yeah, no shit. This, this will not make you gay. It is sandwich. It, no, listen. The sandwich does not make you gay. It is you making out with men that makes you gay. Correct. <laughs> this is not a song. It's a sandwich. <laughs> Oh, I haven't heard Psycho Stick in a long time. That was a good album. What was it, the it, food album? Something like that. Yeah. It's basically like their equivalent of Weird Al's uh, food album. Mm-hmm. I don't have any Do ammo, have so I have to hatch it, enemies. <laughs> apparently, most of the original band of Psycho Stick left, so it's not even the original guys anymore. It's just the vocalist, right? I think so. Yeah. Uh, me meanwhile, Limp Bizkit came back and made a song recently. Limp Bizkit came back and made a whole album recently. Yeah, I, they, they, I, I, saw, I saw a music sucks. video for them, and I was like, wow, they are all old and pathetic looking. <laughs> we used to think this was cool. <laughs> Good lord. You know, you've been loving this shit right here. Hey, been remember this shit right here? Remember when we started a riot at Woodstock? I don't have any ammo, goddammit. Uh, uh, to, to this day, I still feel like uh, that un that horrible song, Crazy Chocobo or Chocobo Rock or something from like Final Fantasy 13 2 should have been done in the style of Limp Bizkit. Sweet, honorary Christ, I hate my work sometimes. Love it, but hate it. I think everybody hates their work. That's for true. That's for shit true. Oh. Speaking of someone who hates their work, mi madre is fine. Mi madre. So, uh, you gonna get WrestleQuest when it comes out? What is this? <laughs> it is a old school RPG about wrestling and featuring the likenesses of real wrestlers thrown in there as well. It didn't ah, like pi ah, piss. Ah, piss. I'm oh, you are so fucked. Yeah, I'm bone. I'll be right. See, like, there I don't have been reason. Oh, there, can... there was the uh, there was also the wrestling game that was like the spiritual successor to uh. Wrestle Fest, but this is like Wrestle Quest. It's an actual like 16-bit style RPG. Well, there's also the fact that the AEW game is turning into uh, Guns N' Roses Chinese Democracy. Like any any day now, it's gonna come out forever. <laughs> Never will come out. <laughs> <sighs> but but seriously. Uh, WrestleQuest is, is coming out on, like, all the platforms, and uh, they have actual, like, 
they, they have the rights oh. to use the no, likenesses stupid. of Jake the Snake and the Legion of Doom, Sergeant Slaughter, Randy Savage. I see Andre the Giants also here because I'm look actually looking at the website very briefly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's an old school 16 bit ish uh, RPG about wrestling. It is beautiful. I think it's coming out soon too, like at least early this year, like first half this year. It should be pretty good. Yeah. Uh, May apparently. It's supposed to be May. Oh, that was like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, they announced it at Nintendo Indie World in November, actually, that it was coming out in May. So. And that reminds me, I need to get my hands on Sports Story because, god damn it, that looks amazing too. Speaking of Golf Nintendo, Story was such a good game. Um, I saw the direct from a few days ago. Uh, hey, Game Boy games are now on the Switch. Yep, uh, I've been playing through Wario Land Three, uh, and it blows my mind that a Game Boy Color game is that fucking big. It is quite the uh, quite the game. Yeah. There's a couple Especially games if you on want there. to get all the items. Oh, God damn it. I am trying to use my hatchet. Yeah, there's a couple I, games I on there I would love, like, love to replay. Uh, Mario Land 2, for one. I haven't played that game in a long time. Well, yeah, which that one? one? Mario Land 2. It's fun to blow through really quickly. Uh, although, I still think the best way to play that is the Mario Land 2 DX ROM hack that gives it a full blown, full color remake. Ooh. <laughs> Still the best music uh, of that game is the uh, Star World theme. <laughs> 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 That sounds vaguely like um, Nick Arcade when the Mikey's walking around. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And vaguely like uh, the safety dance as well. Speaking of the safety dance, that guy over Ow, that guy was, You're on a... That guy was kind of doing the safety dance there. He was shimmying around <laughs> like, like a dancing fool. Uh, men without hats, who are now currently men without jobs. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Thank you, Cookie, for that joke. Of course, whenever I hear the freaking... Uh, uh, like Mario uh, Land music, though. I just freaking think of, uh, uh, well, I think of, uh, Mario Land 1 more so. I, I think of the, like, belt, leather belt, leather belt, 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 belt. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Level 18. <gasps> You're gonna, you guys are gonna come with me on a little adventure. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put on my rapping more shoot tape. This is a quest of convenience because I'm Better doing face. A I'm doing a favor for someone, so we're gonna go on. Ooh, girls! <laughs> isn't wait a minute? Isn't there a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game coming out soon? Or did that come out? Came out? I feel like I well, I feel like I saw something there. There's another one coming out. That that, that guy kind of reminded me of Bubs from uh, Homestar Runner. It Bubs. I'm gonna come after you with this chainsaw. <laughs> uh, oh, sneak. I'll I'll get some. I'll let me let me get my shit tucked in, and I'll go get us. Right. One of these days, I'm gonna get you away, Steve. If it's the last thing I do, <laughs> you tell him, Steve Dave. <laughs> yeah, Steve. Yep. Steve. Actually, you know what? I'll just go. Going to be this character named Hey Steve. He just shows up and delivers his uh his, his catchphrase. Steve. Hey Steve. Oh. And, uh, and Bubs will play a wheelchair who will go after him 
and 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 he will he will deliver his catchphrase trying to catch a Steve. <laughs> I, 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 I can't re I can't remember the actual like way that it was worded, but yeah, it's when he made the crazy cartoon sweet cup and cakes. Yeah. yeah. Press your keyboard for a hand, and when I get angry, it will play the demo. <laughs> Uh, you know, give me. Dick. Okay. Home Star Runner is one of those things where it's for me anyway. I can't speak for other people. I more like the voices rather than the actual like thing, the the, the dialogue itself. Or no, it's just me. Hey, I like them both. I mean, like it's it's kind of one of those things where it had its moments back in the day. You know, there there are just certain lines and certain things. When I hear a certain word, it just comes into my head in the style of Homestar Runner. Like, uh, whenever I hear tertiary, I just think of tertiary. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Did it happen to you, too? We're going on a fried chicken bucket quest. Hey, uh, oh, cool. Whoa, it was it was uh they they saw some sort of cursed videotape from Sonora Card Gage Mortgage and uh uh, it's, uh like it's like oh I hope not, I hope there are no long standing side effects of this curse and then like it cuts to them years later working in like some sort of uh like office space scenario and uh they're both like in polo shirts and stuff. So yeah, well I mean if that's what you should be looking into is tertiary, and like they get photorealistic lips like superimposed over them, and they say the word. Interesting. You know what I wish? Since I'm going to KFC, I wish they had a menu just like the GTA one. You guys would literally hear me do the big smoke order, and we're doing it live. Well, not doing it live, but yeah, let's do it, baby. Oh, oh no! Skull fuck. gorilla thingy. You know what's really Cheers. funny is that I I encountered one of these in the first place in the first uh, session. Oh, he's on fire now, and I believe we <laughs> called this uh, a, a Jason Amherst monster. <laughs> and he's dead. That, that was actually not that difficult. He was. He was. He was ripped like Jesus. Ripped like Jesus. I, I wish I was ripped like Jesus. Actually, I was watching a thing talking about like Persona Three, and there's a guy who looks like Jesus in it, and the guy was calling him Gun Jesus, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> no, that's just American Jesus when he's all about the gun. Like, hey, that's just my like yeah, in the name of the hey, father, the I gotta son, do and more the... like I gotta do more playthroughs of stuff where I've got other people doing voices and, and, and crap with me again because like my my voice just gets so exhausted sometimes. All right, there we go. Come on, make it bigger. There we go. Like. I've I've got a trilogy of games that are just that shit insanity that I feel like I can't do justice on my own. The Dungan Rampa trilogy. <clears throat> Jason, I would love to voice one of your little silly games. Ow. I really would. I, I I gotta eventually do something. Like I might I might do them pre-recorded because of the fact that like they are just such lengthy freaking games if you actually want to sit through and read all the dialogue. It's the same with like Phoenix Wright games and crap too. I have to be honest with you, one of the things about when Mike played Phoenix Wright that kind of was annoying after a while was voicing all those characters for endless dialogue. And it's just like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why, like, when I'd stream Phoenix Wright, like, I would stick to just doing one chapter at a time. But 
I feel like I need to be like freaking drunk off my ass in order. Like I need to freaking lawyer like Rudy Giuliani if I really want to make streaming Phoenix Wright seem funny. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go lawyer up with some legal juice. This is my pain go bye bye juice. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you the I'll tell you the point, boy. The uh, the person who did Giuliani the best was uh, John Lithgow. Oh God, yes, oh. yes. John Lithgow is just bloody amazing. Yes. <clears throat> you know who almost did Rudy Giuliani? Borat's daughter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me tell you. He, I was fixing my pants. I had to tuck my pants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you oh, are okay. dead. I, I made it to dead. the checkpoint right here. So. I had to sing the song though. You are dead. Yeah. dead. I have to sing the song of my people. <laughs> oh, what what game was that from? You are dead. dead. I can't remember actually. It's, a, it's an old game. I can't remember what the name of it is, but I'm sure if I've seen it, it would be on the tip of my tongue. You don't you, don't uh, you were hot? Guess what? You're not. Uh, Total distortion. Dead, dead. Oh, okay, there we go. Give me this gun. Thank you. Oh, uh, so apparently, thanks to the power of mods, you can now play any music you want while playing Metal Hellsinger. That's cool and all. I just I wish I knew what Metal Hellsinger was. It is a first-person shooter rhythm game. That's true. With the most heavy metal soundtrack of all time. Mm. They nice. won an award for uh, their soundtrack, actually. <laughs> rhythm. Uh, hold up. Let me, let me look game. this up. Here. Uh, I can see it now. Okay. Um. My so, the storyline is narrated by award-winning voice actor Troy Baker and okay. features the music of Tatiana Schmelk uh, of uh, Ginger, uh, Bjorn Strid from Soilwork, uh, Matt Heafy from uh, Trivium, uh, <laughs> Michael Sten from Dark Tranquility, uh, Serge Tankian Dennis Lixon from Refused in Envision, um, Randy yeah. Blythe from Lamb of God, Sh Sean Alyssa Morganson from Sturgeon Fliegen, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa White Gloose from Arch Enemy, and James Dorton from Black Crown Initiate and Repless Sire. I think you made up you know, all I, those names. I feel, <laughs> no, the only the only name I recognize is Serge Tank. Serge, yeah. I recognize, really? I like, recognize the guy from Trivium. You've never Trivium. heard of Trivium? I, I recognize okay. the guy from Trivium. So Trivium, but yeah, yeah Serge and uh, Surge. One of the most recognizable voices in metal history. Yeah. We, uh, can we just put up a picture of Surge? God, too. Can we put up a picture of Surge Tank? you be real quick. La, 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 la. Love you, sir. Toxicity of toxicity of, of our city. city. Of our city. Yo, how do you own the world? How do you own the soda? I, I, I love, uh, I love it, like, uh, oh, God. Uh, wake up! Grab a bushmill, little like table! It. Why'd you put the keys above the table? Why'd you go and leave it on the table? Table, 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 table. You wanted to. <laughs> oh, God. I you know, <laughs> some listen, good remixes like that. Listen, Serge Tanky, if you're listening to this, and I know you are, because <laughs> you are secretly you are secretly a fan of Backseat Gamer, sir. Yeah, we would want to. We want you on, and we want to have like uh, a, a, a beer with you, you magnificent bastard, you. So uh, yeah, thanks to the power of modding, you can now put anything in Metal Hellsinger, uh, as the website puts it, for the willing player. Metal Hellsinger can now become K-pop, country, EDM, disco, classical, rap, reggae, the list goes on. Modern musicians are invited to push the boundaries of good demon-slaying motivation. So picture 
if Doom were a rhythm game, and that is Metal Hellsinger. You, if you thought Typing of the Dead was awesome. Yeah, Typing of the Dead wasn't too bad. It's just when they start making like weird ass combinations, then it's like, oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die like 72 words per minute. I can't do this. I have legally blind. I have carpal tunnel. <laughs> that hits a little too close to home there. Oof. Same. I cannot time, but I can't time basket for the audio. Well, what are you doing? Uh, I don't have any fucking ammo. <laughs> I doom. had nine bullets. Not too bad. This ain't H doom. Then you could just fuck it all away. That's it. I'm looking up. We 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 cheating through this bitch now. Oh jeez. Somebody help me. Uh, oh. Hey, you know why you're not gonna cheat? Cause there ain't no cheat codes, huh? Yeah, they're really not. <clears throat> I mean, if you can cheat through it, uh, you can there find really, really mods isn't. to cheat through it. There really, there really I... isn't any cheat codes. That sucks. Oh no. Oh, oh my no. god. I'm guessing. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not finding any. Oh no. There's a trainer, but that doesn't help me out any. I, I was gonna say that. there's a there was a cheat engine cheat cable thing, but that's just for running. Apparently. Yeah, that doesn't yeah, help me, unfortunately. My point though has to be careful because he doesn't want to install any like uh, aim bots or break his laptop. Yep. All right. Well, Have I you guess seen I'm. Uh, his I don't think one aimbot will fucking make his laptop take a diarrhea dump. Look, I had to deal with that shit. I had to deal with that shit. I mean, I've I've dealt with uh, some mods that have like caused shit to break too uh, in the past. Because like, I had installed a mod uh, for dot hack to run it on my computer but with the uh playstation buttons and uh it fucked with everything else so i had to undo that mod because like yeah i couldn't even play like 2d games like among us what the fuck is a doodad count uh the amount of things you see on screen at once maybe oh all right like like particle the effects and shit. Count. the doodad count Today, today. The camp town Somebody ladies. died on the, Somebody died on the job today. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Cape man. Cape man going. Listen, fry go man. Get the powers. Hey, hey, listen there, fry man. Could have sworn that dog just said tonight you. Oh, cat cat man. You go and you you get the powers from from Gerald Ball King. Yeah. You, you you get me the hot dog necklace of power. What? Shit! There was Why a gun up Danny there. De Hold on. What is Danny DeVito talking about? Uh. Nah. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't remember Perfect Hair Forever? I can't say I do. I've never had. It Perfect was Hair a forever. like. 10 episode like uh like Dragon Ball Z parody type thing involving like uh th there was the balding kid and an old man who was clearly supposed to be Master Roshi from Dragon Ball you know and like you uh, know and uh, go and get hot dog off at the, the highest shelf there oh yes it's good good thing yeah, uh, and like, she had an impossibly short skirt that literally covered nothing. Oh, uh, and like, there was a magic talking hot dog that just randomly showed up at a few points. Do the la 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 la. 
the one thing that sticks out the most <laughs> from it was the uh, the random um, Asian businessmen uh, that showed up in a few episodes. That in one of them they just showed up funded. Like it, it was it was voiced by the guy who did uh, Space Ghost, and he would just be like, "Funded." You know, I I feel very bad, and I feel like I'm going to disappoint Jace, but I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. <sighs> <laughs> Disappointing you know, I... the hillside. <laughs> Charlie, I'm talking to Sam Paul and I blew a hole in the stuff. Yes, would you rather me lie and or would you rather me be truthful to you? Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I can actually find the clip. Hold on. That, that old man voice just reminds me of uh, Rod Stewart on South Park. Oh, 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 parents. Did you just say you pooped your pants? The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to what be. What she used to be, and what she used to be. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's here's uh here's a clip from it. Oh, was that Adult Swim? Yes. Yeah, it was an Adult Swim thing. Oh. Uh -huh. So Charlie taught this kid named Goku how to do the total destruction way, Charlie. But he called it Tom Allen. Oh. And that is also one of my favorite inside jokes of Dragon Ball's Universe 2. What you doing, Mike? Uh, backtracking, I guess, or going, uh, trying to get back to where I was before I fucking went insane. <laughs> Focus. All I heard of that whole sentence was chicken. Chicken. Would you grab dinner for my mother so that she does not have to cook for her boyfriend? For her boyfriend. Is the is the guy who voices the Master Roshu, whatever? It, it's that's got to be the guy who voices Carl. Because then that's those clearly two Carl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I think I got you. Carrie Means or not Carrie Means, but uh, the guy who voices Carrie Means, Means, the fucking the, the porn star. No, uh, the guy who voices Frylock or not Frylock, fucking Meatwad is also the voice of Carl. So. Oh, okay. I don't remember his name. I know Frylock is Dana Snyder, and then uh, uh, the Fry, uh, no fucking Master Shake is Master Dana Shake Snyder, is Dana. Master Shake and then is Dana Frylock Snyder, is Carrie yeah. Means. Yeah, I could have done it, Shake, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, uh, there there was the guy Catman. He's like Catman. <laughs> the villain, the villain Quafio would call him Catman. And what did Catman do? He did whatever uh, not he wanted much, to. Not much of, not much of anything, and really. if I ever uh, get out of here... You know, he I sounded Catman like John do. Benjamin, but wasn't John Benjamin, too, on top of it? Like, it was yeah. like... Catman! I, I want to say the Catman was uh, one of the main characters from 12 Ounce Mouse. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, Dave Willis was. Uh, That's him, yeah. Evil. Yeah, so, and he was Carl also. Son of a bitch. Um. Oh, yeah, it is. It is him on Perfect Air Forever. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you just can't imagine the guy that does this voice is also the guy that does this voice. Hey. Hey, that um, me what? man. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Fry Man! Carl's Stone Cold Lock Pick of the Week of the Century. <laughs> <laughs> I, I freaking, I just love like how Catman freaking's like, who cares? I care about you, Catman! Just, there's something about Catman. It's just Catman. That just sounds big and big and 
Dave's cat, mate. <laughs> Seriously, like that's garbage, how he says man. the guy's name. Garbage man. I oh, know that he's back on in the forest. <laughs> oh, Dave Willis was also in Squid Billy. Okay. Yeah, he had a yeah, hand in a lot of them shows. He's in a lot of Adult Swift yeah. shows. Yeah. Sea Lab and The Brack Show yep. and Twelve Ounce Mouth. Yep. Oh, he was. It's in a Christmas shame Day. that, like, apparently, uh, behind the scenes, Sea Lab was not a very good place to work at. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, according to all the stories that uh, oh. MC Chris had. <laughs> Agent Zero. All right, we actually have hey. to uh, wrap on this ed- episode of uh, Backseat Gamer. Do it, do it, do it, er, er, er. Oh, Sorry, not that kind of rap. Uh, in any event, if you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified about coming videos. For Dane Ford Jones, Ashley Miller, and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Good night, everybody.